Gmode is an Android application that facilitates the communication between an Android-powered device and a computer. I'll now give you a short introduction to some of the features that Gmode has to offer. From the remote control screen, you can hit the Browse button, select Music, and click on a song that you would like to hear. Once you click on the song, the song begins to play. Some of the things that you'll be able to do are things like pause, play, fast forward, rewind, mute, unmute, increase the volume, lower the volume. Another thing you can do is if you click and hold on the right arrow key, you'll be able to jump to the next song. And the next song begins to play. You can also try to use Android's back button to return to the previous list of songs and select a different one to play. And the power button here will turn off the song. Now, another feature I'd like to show you which we're really excited about is called Play on Phone. So as you can see up here, you can play the song on a computer, or you can decide to play it on your phone. This is currently a beta feature, and we're experimenting with it. So once you've selected Play on Phone, you can select the song again, and the song begins to stream from your computer to your phone, and it'll actually play on your phone. Now this has been extremely useful for me for things like uh, when I'll be in the car, I can connect my phone to my computer and stream songs. It's been very useful. Uh, so another thing I can show you now is maybe having a look at how videos work. So we're able to launch music and we can also launch videos. So basically do the same thing as we were doing earlier. Uh, maybe select play on computer and we'll launch a movie. And now the movie launches on your computer and you'll be able to watch it. You can do the same thing as before, so increase the volume, fast forward, rewind. This is really useful if you're watching a movie and you're wondering, hey, what was said there? What did I miss? Or watching a TV show and just click on it, it'll back up of a few seconds. Um, if you long press on one of these arrows, it'll do a much longer jump, so it's say several minutes worth. So maybe you can jump to a portion that you'd like to see. So, these are the main features of the remote control. You can control all kinds of things that I haven't been able to show you, um, such as uh, PowerPoint presentations, image slideshows. You can stream those to the phone as well. Uh, it's uh, pretty exciting. Now, another feature I'd like to show you will be the touchpad feature. You can access it by hitting the menu button and selecting touchpad. Hi. So I will now give you a short demonstration of the touchpad feature that's included in Gmote. Uh, the feature is called Gmote Touch. Uh, you can access it by hitting the menu button and selecting touchpad. Okay, so from the Gmote touch menu, you can basically just touch the screen and use this exactly as how you would use a touchpad. So as you can see on my screen, the mouse moves and it responds very well to user input. So one thing you can do is basically click on items by tapping the screen and this allows you to click on different items. You can also right click by tapping and holding on the screen. And this does right click. Now let's see, some of the things we could do is maybe launch a web browser. And you now, if you flip the phone over, you're able to type the URL. and navigate to it. So, oh, then it's pretty easy to just go and click on different links, navigate around. Um, another thing you can do is the trackball of Android, which is right here. I'll show it to you this way. So you can use Android's trackball to kind of scroll around the screen, basically like you would with your mouse wheel. Uh, another thing you can do 
Let me close this window. If you want to click and drag, this button uh, can be used as a click, and you can drag on the screen. And this allows you to select items very easily and kind of move windows around. So, for example, if you double click, you now have a window that's open, and you can click and move it around. And so these are the main features. Uh, also, if you hit menu, there is an option called settings, which will allow you to do things like adjust the mouse sensitivity and the acceleration rate. Okay, so that's it for the Gmo Touch presentation. So I'd now like to introduce you to a new beta feature that we added in the latest version. It's called Gmo Web. From the menu, you can access it by clicking on Gmo Web. Now, what it does is on the first page, it loads sort of this default set of internet links that you can click on. So say we wanted to watch a video on our computer, or you can use your phone to navigate a video that you would like to see, and then launch that video on your computer. The idea here is that there's a lot of great content on the web, a lot of great videos that you might like to have some control over, and this mode will allow you to navigate to these videos, and then watch them on your computer. So for example, I go to YouTube and I look at this particular video and I think, oh, this might be a really good video. I click on it. Once the page of the video loads, I can say, oh, okay, launch this page on my computer. So the page now loads on my computer, and I can watch the video. Now, once the video is launched, there's a couple of things I can do. One thing might be to go into touchpad mode and control the video a little better, like perhaps putting it in full screen. And I can watch the video in full screen. This concludes our tour of Gmote. For more information, please visit www.gmote.org.